In today's video, I will teach you how to replace the background with another image in PhotoP. Let's get started. First, launch PhotoP in your browser, then go to File, then Open, and load the image from which you want to remove the background. Now we're going to select the subject. Start by selecting the Magic Wand tool from the toolbar on the left side. You can also use the Quick Selection tool for more precise selection. Click on the background of your image to select it. And you can adjust the tolerance, which is found in the top menu, to control how much of the background is selected. Alternatively, if your background is complex, you can go to Select, then Refine Edge to fine-tune your selection around the subject. Then inverse the selection to focus on the subject by going to Select, then Inverse, or simply press shift Control i on Windows or shift Command i on Mac. Now we're going to remove the background. Once your subject is selected, press the Delete key to remove the current background. You should now see a transparent background, which is represented by a checkered pattern. And to open the new background image, simply go to File, then Open, and select the image that you want to use as the new background. Then copy the new background image by pressing Ctrl-C or Command-C. Then go back to your original image. Then paste the new background by pressing Ctrl-V or Command-V. The new background will be placed as a new layer on top of the subject. Now we're going to arrange the layers. In the Layers panel on the right, drag the new background layer below your subject layer to make sure it's behind the subject. Then adjust the size and position of the background layer using the Free Transform tool by pressing Ctrl T or Command T. Then drag the corners to resize or move the image to fit properly behind the subject. And once you're satisfied with the result, simply go to File, then Export As, and choose your desired file format, for example, PNG if you want transparency, or JPEG if you don't. Now click Save to download the final image with a replaced background. And you've successfully replaced the background of an image with another using PhotoP. If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.